Representative Noray, 5619. Is Representative, okay. Thank you, Chairwoman Williams. Good evening, Chairwoman Williams, honorable members of the House Committee on Labor. I'm here this evening to introduce 5619 House Bill, which is a modification of Rhode Island General Law 2833, issuing of, uh, issuance of limited permits for work by children. Requires a 14-year-old who is going for their work permit to get a special training. This is the modification. Will uh, be required to get a special training which addresses workers' rights, health and safety in the workplace, and workmen's compensation. So they'll understand that. They're trying to teach, you know, a civics. We're trying to come up with all these different trainings. Well, this would be a great employment bill for young workers to try to learn their rights. The training is to be developed by the Department of Labor Training. It shall be no longer than three hours and offered virtually. So again, not gonna have to provide a test, not just a virtual training for three hours. Someone put together some type of training where people can watch this video and they will know that they've, they've uh, taken the, taken the uh, course. One amendment that I would uh, probably like to make on the bill, if this bill finds its way uh, through the committee, is the amendment would be that it shall uh, not take place upon passage, but I would shoot for September 1st, 2021, uh, as it is a, a bill that deals with school committees. So I would like to give the Department of Labor and Training a time to put this together, and then also so that school committees could uh, start dealing with this when students go back to school in the fall. I have a question, Representative, if you're finished with your testimony. I am finished, thank you. Uh, in, the, in your bill, does, will it provide for students eligible students an opportunity to um, have access to computer or Wi-Fi accessibility because as you know every teenager does not have the luxury of having that at home so would that is there in your bill does it provide that there'll be a location seen that is from the Department of Labor and Training that they could have a site of some sort for that individual to go go to in the event they don't have access at home to get the you know take that training that three hour training so i will tell you that i did not put that in in fact last year when this bill was submitted there was nothing about it being taken virtually and because of all the virtual learning we're doing this year i thought it was innovative on my part to put the virtual aspect into it now with students 14 years and older most of them now have computers where they could take this test because they're learning virtually in a lot of the schools. So again, I didn't feel the need to address that. I certainly could. Um, and again, obviously the Department of Labor and Training could provide a, a, a host computer where uh, a, someone could go down, uh, a school committee does issue uh, or, or issue this permit. So I'm sure schools could provide because again, this is issued by them. They could provide a computer within the schools for students that were going to take this course to go to the school or after school to take this. So again, I would, I, I, I totally agree and understand the, the, the purpose for it, for you bringing the online into the fold, but I'm still concerned because there are a lot of children that are, do not have access to Wi-Fi, and they're going to buildings to access them now to do their homework and they don't have the luxury even at school. So I would be m more comfortable with having either the Department of Labor and Training to have a host station in or that the schools will have a station within the schools that these students could access for three hours throughout the day or after school to be able to participate in this program. I am all for this, definitely, but I want to make sure that it's fair across the board for all teenagers that would like to participate in, and get the, um, the training that is being offered. Absolutely understood, and I take your uh, critique and advisement and would definitely agree with you. So. Thank you, are there any questions? 
Representative. Thank you, Chairwoman. Uh, no, I was just going to suggest as we were as we were speaking about that that I think if you're working in conjunction with the Department of Labor and Training and the school committees that it probably is not a far reach for the school to be able to provide this type of pro uh, program or this type of access to Wi-Fi to, uh, for the students. Um, you know, there may not be a, a large number of them who will be going through this process, and as part of that part of that process, would we'll be able to provide it. You know, through the school uh, in some in some form. So um, I'd be willing to help you on that if, uh, if you right. want to get together on it as well. I really like this bill. I, Thank I you, Chairwoman. To, Thank I you. To, I really like this bill, um, but I, I'm not too confident that Providence School District will be um, as available to the kids to get access to, to a computer to, to do what needs to be done. But I commend you. It's a good one. Thank you. Thank you uh, for your time. Having no other witnesses or questions uh would like to for the record to reflect george neat rhode island afl cio is for this um bill and matt weldon of department of labor and training is also in favor of this bill and that concludes the hearing for 5619.